decorator room. So there's a couple things that you're going to notice here. You see how this floor is not the original image and this is somehow not the original image. Maybe you have this issue, maybe you don't. If you do have the issue, what you're going to do is you're going to right click, go in the room obviously, right click and go to face mode. Now you could use your modeling toolkit which is up here. So I'm going to start with this one and I'm going to go to under UV and I'm going to click contour stretch. And so what you're going to see if I go above now you're going to see that it actually took the image and made it right. And I'm going to do the same thing for all these walls. So UV, contour stretch, UV, contour stretch. Now I'm going to have to flip and do the other one too here. That's whoops, UV, contour stretch. And I'm going to go Alt is your friend and flip here, click over here, UV, contour stretch. Okay. And that one seems to be off. Ah. You know what don't waste any time if it's not perfect it's not that big of a deal uh, it's pretty good we're pretty happy overall anyways we don't want to waste a whole bunch of time trying to figure that out probably put it in sideways it doesn't matter just leave it okay but try to fix some of them if you can all right and I'm gonna do the same thing now I'm gonna zoom into the room alt is your friend I'm gonna click over here and in face mode I want to um, I'm gonna create actually a, a new material under the hypershade editor and this material is going to be for the console okay so i'm going to click on lambert um, and i'm going to well maybe yeah and then i'm going to go and click over here and go get a texture that uh, you downloaded and you're going to go here and under file same error you press 6 but one of the things we want to do is close this and go and do UV contour stretch again and it should fix it okay so just make sure you have the two faces selected which is what I had to do I had to select the object mode and and then once I was in object mode I just selected face and then I applied the contour stretch to this but make sure these are the two that you have selected so that's pretty good, I'm happy. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a light to this room. So we're gonna go under Create, and under Lights, we're gonna create a direction light. Now, the thing is, currently I have my gamma all the way up to one, which is not the realistic look of this. what this would look like in the game. It would probably be more like 0.5. So press 0.5, you may have a bar, so you're seeing a little bit of what it would look like. Oops, control Z. Maybe even a little lower than this, a 0.4. Could be that, yeah. And and what I want to do now is I want to turn on this light. So this is kind of like, oops, Control Z. And I want to go and get my uh, point light, which is right here. You can see I can kind of see it. And if I move it around, you're going to see that it's moving. Okay. You could increase the intensity a little bit of it. So I just want you to see what happens when I increase your gamma to one. Now, just so you know, this is to help you in the design. The actual real way it would look in your video game is to be about like this. So you need to be aware of that. One thing you can also do here that's kind of cool is change the light. Let's go to, to a yellow light and let's see how does that look. Uh, you know, I'm going to go back. Command Z. So you can play around with these different settings and see how it goes. Uh, another thing you need to do is to set the render settings. So, because uh, you want to see what it would look like once it's rendered. So go to Windows, go to Rendering Editor, click Render Settings. So one of the things that you probably have in the common window, you're going to see it's set up at HD 540, so that's correct. And one of the things you may notice is you have the wrong renderer here. And the renderer, what it does is it 
this is what it'll export it to make it look like really good in a video game you may have Arnold what I'm going to tell you to use is uh, Maya okay and so that's the best one for our purposes put it on medium quality one and one and even down here ray tracing check that off so that you have a kind of a better quality image so now that we have that set what we're going to do is we're going to render the scene so I'm going to scroll out a little bit and I'm going to press this button and it's going to show me what it would kind of look like for real in the video game processed by the, the video game card so let's see and so we'll get a sense here well, and one of the no things I noticed right away is this is at one so I need to put it at about 0.4 that's what it would look like in my video game so the light you can move it around and one thing I want you to notice is no shadows here so we're going to go and enable that right now so we're going to click on the light if it's not currently clicked and I want you to click on depth shadow attribute and click turn this on and don't more or less okay you can change the color a little bit if you want and then we're going to go back to our renderer click here one of the things you should notice is there should be a shadow now. Now, you notice if you lower it, you may not see the shadow that much in the way it would originally look, but it, you know that it's uh, been enabled. Now, what I'm going to ask you to do if you haven't already done so is grab a screen grab of this so that you can upload it to your portfolio work. Now, from this point on, uh, you're done, but what I'm going to do is add some enrichment uh, tutorials from the original series of these videos. And if you are ahead, I would like you to continue with those. If you are just keeping up, then just stop here and that's totally fine. If you have any questions, let me know.